The first step in contaminant plume modeling is to enter the data and generate strip logs. In this example, relative benzene concentrations are shown by proportionally scaled and colored dist. The next step is to use the Rockworks modeling capabilities to generate a block model based on these benzene values. By filtering the model values based on a user-defined threshold, we can see the shape of the plume as well as the volume. By combining stratigraphic or lithologic fence diagrams with plume models, we can see the relationship between the pollutant and the geology. In this case, the plume is moving through a filled Paleo Canyon. Time-based animations of plumes are a great way to show how a contaminant is migrating, dissipating, metastasizing, or expanding over time.